back. Sorry, Puffs. You're coming with me. Velvet! It's okay. I killed their owner. I deserve all their hate. And then some. Oh boy. But not now. Understand? Once I get my revenge, you can tear me apart if you like. I promise. Until then, I'll need your help. The art finally evaporated. The book! It disappeared! What book? I found a copy of the ancient book with every page still intact. It was in Velvet's house. Artorius's book! The real one might still be there. We should go back to Velvet's house to search for it. Ding 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 ding! <laughs> Nice. Damn, a lot of ribbons to master. And earrings. Uh, yes. That was one hell of an illusion. I have to admire the skill that went into its construction. The caster probably has a tethered Moloch with a unique power on the same level as my Reaper's curse. I can think of one person who would lay such a wicked trap. Still, we may have a new clue to the nature of the Nominot. You found a Nominot's book, right, Lafayette? Yeah, in Velvet's house. Then let's hurry to Velvet's house. Hello. Ooh. We'll kick your butt in just a second. Stuff here. I think there's many cat chests, though. Hello, special demon. Let's go. 
those we will need to be extremely wary. really tough, man. Like, he's not moving.
There's nobody here. This is reality. Well, there goes gravity. This is reality. Is there anything here? It's empty. No surprise there. Artorius is too thorough to overlook something like that. If only I'd showed it to you as soon as I found it. Don't beat yourself up over it. We wouldn't have been able to read it without Grimoire anyhow. It was just a dream. All of it. Check out all these complicated looking books. A hand-drawn map! Nice. It's incomplete, but... Seems quite detailed. It's beautiful. My brother drew it every day. Even when his fever got too strong for him to read a book, he'd stare at that map for hours. Lofi said he, he wanted to travel the world? Yes, it was his dream. I never understood what made him want to do something so dangerous. But I'm living his dream now. It's ironic, isn't it? This was bedroom? your room, wasn't it? You can knit. I was trying to learn. Nico said she'd teach me how as a thank you for giving her my quiche recipe. We wanted to finish a set of scarves for the winter. Velvet. Forget about it. I don't need to knit anymore. Is there anything upstairs? Those are the graves of my sister and her son. He died before he was even born. They're in rough shape. We should lay some flowers. Don't bother. There's no point. A keen insight. Eating one would be cruel enough, but plucking an innocent flower just to offer it as decoration for some memorial. That's not even a sacrifice, just a cruelty devoid of all purpose. Melchior! As obtuse as ever. Mm -hmm. I take it you're the one behind the dream fog? I must say, you did well to break through such resolve. If you weren't a Therian, I'd be tempted to take you under my wing. Did you come here to flatter me? Indeed. Although I was already in the neighborhood to retrieve this book. I'll be taking that. This book was compiled by my dear friend, who was also Artorius's mentor and predecessor as head of the Exorcists. It contains the hopes and dreams left by a noble soul, who gave his life for the world that grieved him. It is not for a tainted demon to touch. Like we need your permission. Oh, here we go. Who obeyed me for once? Is that you didn't? Be patient. You'll know everything before that long. Freed? What we seek is the realization of a perfect order, as tranquil and beautiful as a wild flower in bloom. Oh, he took the book. A perfect order. Let's go. There's nothing left for us here. Oh. That was a hundred percent I freaked. Of Inomi 
not? What's it doing there? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. Lafayette made a copy of the book. He transcribed it all by hand, and then he sold it just to buy me that comb. There was something here for us after all. <laughs> Zoom in to that head. <laughs> If that's the complete manuscript, we might be able to unravel Inominat's secrets. We'll have to show it to Grimoire. <laughs> Pulling one over on the old man, are you? Never a dull moment with Lady Calamity around. All right. Time to drop off the pups and get Grimoire to translate this book. We're going back to Titania. All right. Ooh, I see the chest. Kind of curious if there's something. Oh, hi, love. Nothing. All right. Uh, I'm playing level 46. What level are you now? 42. I can fight too. You're not hurt, are you? No. Do, do, do. Oh shit. That horned monster. He was with Melchior. There was something different about him. He wasn't of Moloch, though, right? <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a demon. But why would the Abbey be working with a demon? He could be a Therian, maybe. I mean, there was Medissa and Kamalana. No, I don't think so. The Abbey keeps their Therians behind barriers and bound to Earth Pulse points. A Therian can't send malevolence to Inominat while walking freely. That's correct. And besides, Orthrus was already here. In any case, now we know Melchior has a mean-looking bodyguard in addition to his illusions. It'll take quite a lot to stop him. Aye. That's a fact. It's all like a hundred percent eye for We found the captain. He became a demon. Can I open this? Oh. Curse the lack of souls. We never did go down. I'm gonna take Quick look. I saw something up there too. Well, let's up here first. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh god. I'll definitely take a life bottle. Nice. Scout ship setting sail.
surfing on the water. Just more souls over here. There's gotta be some oh, there's a chest. Eleanor, there's something I have to ask. What is it? Did you leak our plans to the Abbey? <laughs> Guess. Eleanor hasn't done anything like that. Then how do you explain Melchior and his illusions already waiting for us when we got to a ball? I promised you that I would work together with you until I found the truth for myself. I'm not up to any tricks. It's far too late for that now. Exactly what a guilty party would say. If anyone's suspicious here, I'd say it's you, Magilu. No tricks. <laughs> I don't even know what a trick is. <sighs> Enough. If Eleanor was leaking information, then Titania would surely be under attack by now. Right. I'm sure the Abbey would love to have those Therians back. But the enemy was in that village waiting in ambush. The Abbey isn't foolish. They figured out by now that we're rounding up the Therians. They'll have left traps for us with each remaining one. It's the obvious move. All right. If that's how you see it, I'll stand down. So you trust me then? Nope. No. I'm saying that anything the Abbey tries, I'll be ready for it. <laughs> oh, such a brave, determined soul. Eleanor, does the Abbey possess an art that can control demons? Not that I've ever heard of. Besides, if they could control demons, there'd be no need to resurrect Inominat, would there? Can't argue with that. But Melchior was obviously in control of that demon. How did he manage that? You can't tether them like a Moloch. And Melchior wasn't using oaths or mana to compel him. No. This was something more like mind control. Mind control? Let's say you know your target's innermost desires. You simply conjure the right illusion. Show them what would push their buttons in just the right way. Ah, if you can create an illusion of something someone really wants, you can control them. Exactly. Makes sense. You can force a powerful burden upon your target's psyche. Until their spirit breaks, that is. What happens when they break? Depends on the target. They might become an empty shell, they might go wild with desire. Eeny teeny spiny crow. You sure know a lot about this. Now that you put it that way, why would I know so much about it? <gasps> what if someone is controlling me, making me say these very words? How horrifying! <laughs> I believe I'll take your words with a grain of salt. Hmm. Excuse me, Bert. Listen, Eleanor really isn't spying on us. <laughs> 
I was with her almost every minute, and when I wasn't, Velvet was watching her. And she's a woman who keeps her promises. She wouldn't lie to... Lafayette. We understand, Lafayette. It's Eleanor. If she were lying to herself to somehow keep spying on us, the guilt would fill her with malevolence. I see. You're right. The fact that I haven't turned into a dragon proves that. Thank you. Both of you. I didn't think you were giving them information intentionally. But there are illusionists like Melchior out there. That means we can't rule out someone recording your thoughts in secret. I don't think we need to worry about that either. Not with you and Lafayette always near. <sighs> now that that's settled, it's time for you all to testify to my innocence. No. That could be difficult. What? Well, okay. Why don't you start off by telling us all about the time you sold us out to Teresa back in Hellevis? Oh, why bring up that old yam? You're a very vindictive man, do you know that? You're just figuring that out? <laughs> well, there's your proof, at least. You wouldn't make much of a spy. <laughs> she really wouldn't. Hey, that's not what I meant! You were mean! <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be a dark place, isn't it? Oh, these demons! for dinner tonight hey what did i tell you about bothering travelers sorry about that he's totally obsessed with food that's all right prickle bore meatballs huh sounds delicious they're really super tasty but sis says that they used to taste even better why is that we used to get deliveries of fresh delicious prickle bore meat from the nearby village of a ball but in the advent three years ago Demons attacked the village, and now it's gone. It's such a tragedy. If they only could have held out for just one more day, I'm sure Lord Artorias would have saved them. Artorias. Right. right. Bunch of stuff to get rid of. Like every single one of these extra blades that we don't need.